Hello Techie. In this session we will learn how to work with populate a Microsoft Word template action which is available under Word Online Business Actions. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this action is to read a Microsoft Word template to then fill to the template fields with the selected dynamic values to generate a Word document. Before learning about these parameters, first we'll understand what is Microsoft Word template. A Microsoft Word template is a sample document that is used for the basis for a new document. A template determines the basic structure for a document and contains document specific settings such as fonts, styles, page layout, macros, etc. When you create a document, the file that is created initially is a, just a copy of its template. Now, if you see over here, I'm having a Microsoft template. In an example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give a certification of the completion of Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. This is a simple template that I'm going to give it as a completion course completion certificate over here. Now, I want to insert dynamic values over here. For an example, I'm having recipient name over here. For whoever has been completed the course, I have to give the recipient name. How can I go ahead and dynamically do that? Before that, I'm going to create a dynamic template over here for the Microsoft Word template. For that, I'm going to enable this developer. How can I go ahead and enable it? I'm going for the file and there I'm going for the options. There you can see customize ribbon and then I'm going for the developer option which is available under main tab. All right, let me click on OK. Now I'm going to create dynamic values so that I'm going for the developer. And there you can see over here, I'm having plain text content controller, right? I'm going to give as an input for the plain text content controller. And then I'm going for the properties. There you can see, I'm going to give the title as learner name. And then I'm going to give the tag also as learner name. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now, when they are going to getting the issue of this certification, I'm going to give month, day, year. So that again, I'm going for the developer and then I'm going to give the plain text content control and then I'm going to click on properties. Now I'm going to give it as date of completion and I'm going to copy the same. I'm going to give it as tag also and I'm going to click on OK. Now the program or the project name, I'm going to give it as Microsoft Power Automate Desktop, right? If you see, this acknowledges that recipient name, for an example, the recipient name is Swamir, has successfully completed the Microsoft Power Automate Desktop on so-and-so date, right? This is what we are going to give the dynamically values to generate a Word document. All right, let me click on Save. Now, this template I'm going to upload in the OneDrive. I'm going for the OneDrive. And there you can see I'm having certificate.docx. How I have done it, I'm going to click on add new and then I'm going to select files upload. And there you can see in my local drive, local D drive, I'm having PAD labs, that is Power Automate Desktop Labs. And there I'm having certificate. I'm going to select that. And there you can see a file with the name already exists so that I'm going to replace it. New Word template document. Certificate.docx has been uploaded successfully. Now, let me go back to the Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Now, if you see the parameters for populated Microsoft Word template, I'm having the location. Before to get the location, I'm going for the connection references. I'm going to give the connection references over here, such as it is connecting to the Microsoft Power Automate Desktop as well as OneDrive for Business, all right? I'm going to select the connection reference over here or else if I'm going to create a new, then I'm going to click on add new connection reference and then I'm going to create a connection reference over here. Right now, I'm already selecting the connection reference which are already available between Power Automate Desktop and OneDrive for Business. All right, let me click on OK. Now, the first parameter is the location where I have stored this certificate.docx. I'm going to drop down that and then I have selected the location that is SharePoint site hyphen PAD where I have stored that certificate, all right? Now document library, I'm going to drop down that. There you can see I'm having documents. Let me select that. And the file where we are having that certificate. Inside my documents, I'm having one more documents. There I'm having PAD documents. I'm going to select that. 
and there you can see I'm having two documents. One is certificate.docx, another one certificate-org.docx. But which one we have modified? That is certificate.docx, where we need to give the dynamic values over there to generate a Word document, right? I'm going to select certificate.docx. Once you have selected, I will get additional parameter from this certificate. There you can see I'm having learner name and the document of completion, right? These are the two properties which we are having inside my certificate, right? I'm going to give the name over here for the demo purpose right now. I'm going to give it as Amir and the date of completion. I'm going to give it as January 1st, 2024. And then if you see the advanced parameters, I'm having timeout only. Now, once the document has read from the word template, then it will be stored inside my variable that is create file item response. All right, let me click on save. For a moment, I have disabled the Excel automation actions right now. All right, let's run the flow to see the output, which we are going to get from the populate a Microsoft Word template action. Let's click on run. Flow execution started. There you can see it is trying to read a Microsoft Word template by using populate a Microsoft Word template action. Flow has executed successfully. Now, if you see, a flow has, variable has been created with the response in byte format. If you double click on that, there you can see I'm having the output or the response in bytes format. Let me click on close. Now, to create a file from this binary, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use convert binary data to file action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after populate a Microsoft Word template action. What this convert binary data to file action will do, it will convert binary data to file format. Now, if you see over here, the parameters, binary data, that is create file item response, which we are getting response from the populate a Microsoft Word template. Now, if you see the second parameter, I'm having file path. I'm going to give the file path over here. I'm going to select PAD labs, and there I'm going to give file name as Amir Basha. All right, let me click on open. If you see over here, the file path is D drive PAD lab slash Amir Basha dot DOCX. If file already exists, that is the third parameter, I'm going to overwrite it, right? And then I'm going to click on save. Now what we are going to do, we are reading the data from the Microsoft Word template, and then we are going to fill it by using populate a Microsoft Word template. And then the output, what we are going to get it, the output from the populate a Microsoft Word template, that is create file item response. This is in binary format. This binary format, we are going to converting into the file by using an action called convert binary data to file. And then we are going to store the output that is a document in D drive PAD labs slash Amir Basha dot DOCX. Now let's run the flow to see the output once again by clicking on run. Flow execution started and the file has created successfully. Now let me show you the output over here. There you can see a document has been created with the name of Amir Basha dot DOCX. Let me open that. There if you see, this acknowledges that Amir has successfully completed the Microsoft Power Automate desktop on so-and-so date. Let me close this. Now, to make you more understandable, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open an Excel. There you can see I'm having learner name, date of completion. So I'm having multiple people over here to generate the certification. How can I go ahead and do that? There you can see I'm having two students. One is Amir Basha, another one is Sushma, where it has been completed successfully, right? Now, to automate that, I'm going to use launch Excel action as well as read from Excel worksheet along with that close Excel actions. Let me enable that. I'm going to read the data from the Excel by using read from Excel worksheet action, and then I'm going to store inside my Excel data variable, right? Now, to go through the record from the Excel, I'm going to use for each action. Let me drag and drop this for each action onto the workspace. Now, by using for each action, I'm going to value to iterate. What is that iteration? I'm going through the Excel data rows, right? I'm going to select value to iterate. I'm going to select the variable that is Excel data and then it will store inside my current item, right? Let me click on save. Now I'm going to drag this populate a Microsoft Word template as well as convert to binary inside my for each. 
Now, I'm going to change the parameters for populate a Microsoft Word template that is input parameters. Let me double click on that. There, if you observe, previously I have given input parameters over here as static data. Now, I'm going to change it to dynamic data. Learner name, I'm going to give from the current item. I'm going to select the variable. And there, you can see current item. I'm going to select that. But inside my current item, I'm having two values. One is learner name, another one is date of completion. For the learner name, I'm going to select the index of zero. What is that current item of zero? For the date of completion, I'm going to select current item of one. So current item of zero is learner's name. Current item of one is date of completion. All right, let me click on save. Now, in the same way, convert binary data to file action. There you can see I have given the path as static data. I have to change it to dynamic. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me click on convert binary data to file action. Let me double click on that. There you can see I have given file path as local D drive, PAD labs, slash. I have given the name over here as amirbasha.docx. But I'm having two students or multiple students. I have to create their certification on their name. How can I go ahead and do that? There, I'm going to select the variable over here. What is the variable that is coming from the current item? I'm going to select variable. And then I'm going for the current item. Current item of zero. Nothing but the learner name which we are having in the Excel sheet. Right? I'm going to click on save. Now, let's run the flow to see the final output for the populate a Microsoft Word template action. Let's click on run. Flow execution started. By using Excel automation actions, there you can see it will try to read the data from the Excel by using read from Excel worksheet, which we are having inside my Excel, that is course completion details.xlsx file. And then it will go through the loop of the Excel data. And then if you see, it is reading the data from the Microsoft Word template and then it is trying to fill the template fields which we are having inside my Word template. And then it is generating the Word document from binary to file document where we are having in D colon PAD labs slash current item nothing but the name which we have given in the Excel for the learner's name. Right? And then it will create with the learner's name dot docx. It will go through the loop and it will create all the certifications which we are having inside my Excel data. The flow has executed successfully. Now let me show you the output. There you can see I'm having two files over here. One is Amir Basha, another one is Sushma, where we are having two students inside my Excel. Let me open these two documents. Let me keep the documents side by side. There you can see for the one of the student Amir Basha that have been we have generated a certificate successfully, Amir Basha, and then we have got the completion date. There you can see second student, that is Sushma, that has been completed on so-and-so date. All right. I hope you understand how to work with populated Microsoft Word template with selected dynamic values to generate a Word document as part of this tutorial.